All right, let's go ahead and talk about the review and selection process. So we just went through the bucketing concept where we paired up uh, you know, our review team with our applicants. Now let's log in as one of those review members and look at what they can have access to. So within Reviewer, um, you can either add or you can import your review team. You can invite them to create credentials. You can set credentials for them and use our email template to notify them. So make it very, very simple for you to onboard your team and your staff. But when we go ahead and we log in here as Barbara, this is an example of what your review team would see. So right off the bat, they're going to have some type of instructions, uh, you know, attachments. It could be, you know, help videos, PDF guides on how to use the platform, how to use the tool. If I go ahead and collapse those, really the bread and butter is going to be the listing of the uh, nominations or the applications or the grant applicants, or whatever it might be that they're reviewing, uh, that they're supposed to look at. Now, this interface can change a little bit depending upon your desired workflow. So a lot of our clients are blinding data. They're hiding personal identifying information such as name, demographic details, things of that nature. So it's quite possible that they don't see the name at all. All they see is a list of ID numbers and they simply click on the ID and begin doing the review. Now, in this example, it does show names, so it's not blinded, but you can kind of hear uh, what we're going after. So what's going to end up happening is the review team will see a list of all of these submissions that they're supposed to review. They would simply click on the name of each one of them, and then it pulls that profile concept. Now, this is super powerful because it's actually a split screen. So the left hand side of my page is going to be the profile or the elements within the profile you want them to review. And then the other half of the page is the review and selection tool. Now, the whole review and selection tool is completely custom. So drop downs, check boxes, one through five, one through ten. Uh, sad face, smiley face, good, great, ugly, whatever you want to evaluate, reviewer can accommodate for. But behind the scenes, we call a generator that applies math, if you want, to the score sheet. Now, some of our score sheets are not math driven, right? It's comment boxes, it's uh, uh, deliberation tools that are reviewing uh, information, leaving notes and comments about it. There's no score sheet. That's totally fine as well. We've seen everything. In this use case, however, though, we're talking about score sheets. So the review team can actually side by side view the profile, the information of it. Each one has an independent scroll. They can jump into the attachment section. They can view the file uploads. They can log their scores. They can leave their notes. And you're gonna notice that again, all those documents still embed in front of us. They can go back to the form. They can jump to the supplemental forms. They wanna look at Anne's reference letter. Boom, they can look at the documents of the reference all in one spot. You'll notice that the scores are actually going to self-tabulate as they go along as well. And then once the review team is done, boom, they press submit and they move on to the next. And in real time, the platform is going to log all of the scores and all of the results. Now, if I go back a page, what's also nice about this is that it allows the review team to see which of their submissions have already been evaluated, which ones uh, they've started to review but haven't yet finished, and then which ones they haven't looked at. So uh, a lot of our clients might come back in here. They might score four or five of them, leave, come back later, or once they finish review, they may actually go back and reevaluate either the highest and lowest scores and then there's some type of benchmark to compare them against. But again, the platform is super simple, um, you know, again, side by side, view the information, conduct the review and selection process. Now, from an admin perspective, which we'll look at here in a moment as well, um, you're able to track their progress. So you can see, okay, of my review team, who's last logged in, how many submissions are assigned to them, what's their progress percentage, you want to send them reminder messages, all that kind of fun stuff, um, as well as uh, look at the results. And that's what we're 